Hi, everybody. So in the last video, uh, we were cutting out, like you see me doing here, we were cutting and trimming the bottom or the inboard edge of one of our fiberglass wingtips. So now that it is all trimmed up, what we're going to do is we are going to put it in place. We're going to rig up the aileron so that it's square. When I say square, I mean that it's neutral. And when it agrees with the wingtip, uh, we're just going to go ahead and plop down and we're going to start drilling holes into the wingtip. Actually, okay, so the first thing you do is you put the wingtip in place and then you ratchet strap it in. Uh, I've used a heavy piece of, uh, uh, wi uh, not wire, but rope for this. Uh, so you actually put the rope around the in, uh, very outboard edge of the leading edge of the wing, the aluminum part, and then ratchet strap it around the back of the wingtip and you kind of pull it in place. Uh, the reason you do this is that wingtip isn't like it, it's not naturally form fitting to the top and bottom skin. You can kind of see if you look right there. You can kind of see a little bit of a gap. I mean, it when it gets pulled out to the skin using Clecos, fits perfectly fine. There's not a lot of stress on the part, and it and it looks great. But it's not naturally just going to bounce out to that size. So what you do is you just drill in Clecos. So that's what I'm doing here. Uh, you go from the nose to the tail or nose end to the tail end, and I'm uh, click going up uh, every single one. And my buddy Eric dropped by to uh, take a look. He's uh, CFII, which is ironic, he's, uh, he's, he's he teaches in multis. He doesn't have a single engine yet, but he, he's got his multi. And uh, he teaches multi in a beautiful Diamond Star uh, DA42. One of the new ones with the nice Mercedes engines in them. Oh, man, are they ever sweet. I would love to get my multi. Got no reason to get it, but, you know, if I had about four or five grand burning a hole in my pocket, that's exactly what I would do with it. Well, after I fix my, after I finish my plane. If I've got four grand in my pocket now, it's going towards avionics and cotton is what. But that's another story. So, what you do is you make all these pilot holes. So, you've got a whole row of holes all along the outboard edges of the wings and the aluminum that you never really touch ever. And it always says in every chapter, don't dimple, don't do anything here. And this is why. This is what they're for. So you drill all the holes into the wingtip, and you're satisfied that they're, you know, nice and square. So you remove the wingtip, and then what you wind up doing is, so now I'm actually enlarging those holes, the ones that are on the wingtip, because uh, they're going to be dimpled for number six screw. So the wingtips are held on with number six screws, that's what I'm trying to say. You can tell it's getting late wherever. I must have been working long this night. My camera can't even keep up. Yep, so there I am dimpling those uh, number six screw holes. Uh, after that, so what we do after this is now it's time to install nut plates onto the wingtips itself. Uh, to do this, you need to use the hole you drilled as a pilot hole for the screw that will eventually be coming through. Uh, what you do is you take a number six screw, you take one of the nut plates that you're going to use on the wingtip, you put the number six screw through backwards. It's hard to explain it unless I did a diagram, but if you know what I'm talking about, you put it through backwards. And then you... and it sticks through the nut plate. So then what you do is you screw the screw through the hole in the wingtip. And it drags the uh, nut plate along with it and then once it's tight, you have the nut plate up against the fiberglass. Uh, you hold it steady, and then you can take your number 40 drill and drill the pilot hole or match drill the holes for the nut plate into the wingtip. And that's what you see me do here. All right, that was kind of a weirdo explanation. I'll try to do better in the next video. But basically, that's what you're going to be seeing me do for a little bit. So, see you guys soon.